Hey, my lip dance. So first of all, happy New Year's. Happy first video of 2024 on my channel. Um, welcome to the new subscribers. Um, thank you guys for being subscribed to the channel. Let's keep growing this channel. Let's get up to a thousand subscribers this year. The goal is to get up to a thousand, but as of right now, let's get up to 800. Thank y'all so much. Um, I do want to talk about a few topics in this video. It's just, you know, random artist topics that I want to discuss. Um, because I do have a few thoughts about certain things and about these certain um, artists that I have here on my screen. There's obviously going to be the thumbnail. But before I start, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like I said, let's get up to 800, but the goal is to get up to 1,000, okay? So I, I want to start with, okay, let me start with, um... Let me start with Belle Calis. I, and I'm not I'm not gonna call her Cardi B in this in this video. I'm just gonna call her Belle Calis, her real name. Um, I didn't I didn't do a, at first. I was gonna do an individual video about Belle Calis on uh, on my channel uh, last year. I was gonna do a video about her and about her crashing out. Uh, I was gonna drag her really. I was really gonna go in on. I was going to go in on Belle Calis. I was going to drag her. I was going to be like, like really go in on her. But then I was just like, you know what? Let me just wait. Let me just wait. Let me wait till next year. Let me just see how I feel. Cause sometimes out of emotion, you know, things can be said. And it's like, some, and I do be looking back at my videos and hearing what I be and hearing what I say. Sometimes I'm like, Oh, maybe I, this was like a little bit too harsh or a little bit too um, aggressive. So I waited it out. Um, you know, Bella Calise, these past, you know, and obviously I'm saying last year, of course, uh, because it, it was last year, but, you know, but, you know, these past couple of weeks, these past couple of months, she's been crashing out. Okay. She has been going off on social media, like usual, like always it's her usual at this point it's a schedule routine when it comes to Bella Calise. She's always on social media, always searching her name up, always even even when people don't tag her, she always searches her name up on social media, especially on Twitter, to see what people are saying about her, what they're, you know, what people are talking about. She's always had Belkalis, either it has to do with her or whether it doesn't have to do with her, she always has an opinion about everything. Okay. And now we're in 2024. I did a video uh, two years ago, actually in 2022. And I remember me saying like, listen, like, Car you know, I was about to say Cardi. Bella Calis needs to drop an album in 2023. And that if she doesn't drop an album in 2023, I don't think in it, like the years going, the year after the year going forward, you know, the casual fans will be here for her. I think only her stands will be supporting her, but her stands, but like, as far as like the casual fans, like people like me and other people, we're not going to be support. Cause it's like, we're over it now. It's like you, you know what I mean? Like you're just, you, ha you only have one album. We're tired of the album now, you know, it's like you, and she doesn't even sound the same. Like that's the thing too. It's like when you go back to invasion of privacy and, and when you look at some of the, the few features that she's done, you know, over the years is like her voice has changed. She's matured a little bit more. So it's like, we need something new. We need something fresh. And Cardi, ugh, Bella Calis has always like, I don't know if it's fear. I don't know if it's, well, of course it's fear. It is fear. She's also, I, I, like, to me, and I, and I said this before in multiple videos on this channel. I said, I, I still can't believe and I still don't understand how Bella Calis did not drop her second studio album in between WAP and Up. Like that was, that was the, the perfect moment to drop that album. Cause those two songs went like skyrocketed to the top. And the fact that she did not drop it then, it shows a failure on her side, on her team side on uh, Atlantic, wherever, they really dropped the ball. And now, you know, Bella Calise is, the steam is running out. 
You know, people are not checking for her like that. They only check for her when she's always going off on social media, when she's cursing out her fans, when she's cursing out other people's fans, when she's, like, saying that she's going to put a bullet in her head. They're only checking her out when she's acting out on social media. They're not They're not checking for her music because bongos didn't do... And I really said it multiple times on the channel. I did not like bongos, and I still don't like bongos, okay? Nobody was checking for that. The other features that she's done, it was like, whatever. The only feature I think I probably liked from her was the Tomorrow 2 song. Other than that, everything else, it, you know, whatever. We don't care too much about. She was on Offset's album. We didn't care too much about it. So it's like, instead of being focused on that, focus on your music, focus on these things, you are going off on social media just, just not, not even that long ago. Like, just what, a couple of days ago? She dragged her fans because apparently her fans were, were speculating that she was back with Offset and that she called her fans slow and was just calling them the B words, the F words and all these different things. And to me, here's my thing. And this is why I don't stand nobody. Like I might like a couple of people, of course, a few, a few celebrities here and there, but it's like, I'm not going to get to a point where I'm blinded to these celebrities because at the end of the day they are human beings too they have their faults but I'm not gonna allow a celebrity to curse me out and for me to still be supporting them like fuck out of here like no like in the same I, I did the same thing when it came to Doja Cat and the same always goes for Cardi B it's like y'all expect these these people that put you mind you y'all wouldn't even be in the positions that y'all are in if it wasn't for y'all fans and then y'all turn around and and curse at them and saying that they're worthless that they're slow they don't that you you guys are rich and they're poor and it's like bitch y'all the reason why we y'all are even in that position cuz we invested in y'all we bought y'all music so i don't know to me especially after that rant i don't know how cardi b Bella Kalise still has fans, um, but power to them. If Listen, at this point, I honestly don't care. If she releases an album in 2024, if she don't release an album in 2024, it's above me now, okay? I don't think the second album is going to do well. I, and listen, I, and you can't, y'all can't, for the ones that have been here, you know, not for the newbies, okay, the new subscribers, but for the ones that have been here, y'all know, I said it. Like last, well, two years ago, I said, listen, like, Belle Calise needs to drop her album in 2023. If she doesn't, I don't think the casual fans are going to be here for, are going to, the masses are not going to be here for her after 2023 because it's like she's waited too long. So not only did you wait too long, you waited again until 2024. On top of that, you're ostracizing a good part of your fan base. It's like, how do you expect to do well if you, when you do drop music? How do you expect to do well? You know? So, I don't know. I don't think the second album is going to do well. I think it's um it's going to be what it does. Um, I think Cardi's or Bella Kalisa's momentum has went down significantly. Unless she, unless, you know, Bella Kalisa does some payola or does some, you know, voodoo to, to make them album sales go up. Whenever she drops an album, because at this point, I don't even think she's going to drop an album in 2024 either. You know, I, she might as well Lauren Hill it. Just Lauren Hill it. Just go off of one album, tour with that. It is what it is. But I don't I don't see her doing anything. <sighs> I, it, it, I'll be surprised if the album does well. I'll be surprised. But listen, but I will give Buckley some props here. And I know I said it multiple times on this channel. Miss Mamas is a fashion girly. I love Bella Kalisa's fashion. I'll give her a props where it's due. No female rapper in the game right now, not Nikki, not Megan Thee Stallion, not Lotto, any of them, are dressing the way Bella Kalisa is dressing. Her fashion game eats down, okay? she If, if she was to become the fashion girl and stop this music shit now, I I, I wholeheartedly... Like I said, I said it multiple times on this channel. She, she needs to get the CFDA award, the next one, because I think she totally deserves it. Fashion, she always eats. Looks, you know, face, makeup, hair, she's always eating. The music, I, I don't know too too much about that. But yeah, that's how I feel. Um, but yeah, Belle Calise, I would tell you to stop crashing on social media. I would tell you to stop going on social media, delete your social media. 
um, freaking give your social media to a public, like give it, to, give it to somebody on your team to handle your social media. But since you never listen and we've been, people have been having this conversation with you for years, you don't listen. So at the end of the day, whether you crash out, what do you, what do you do, what you do on social media, that's your business. It is what it is. I'm done. I'm over it. Next topic. Um, okay. So Ariana Grande, she's getting ready to release. Um, I will say I am excited to see what she has to produce, what she's going to put out there. Um, I didn't talk about this either, but I saw that statement that Ariana Grande put out on her Instagram. Like, I read, I skimmed through it because I was just like, okay, she, here she go, vict- you know, the victim, like, mentality. Like, and listen, before I start, I love Ariana Grande. Like, I love her. Well, I like her. Mu- I love her music. I, I don't know her as a person. Like, I love her music. Like, her music gets me up. But, like. I did not like that statement that she put out. Oh, people who don't know me, people who don't. And it's just like, girl, please don't, please don't do the victim mentality thing with us. Oh my God, I'm so over. You know what? 2024, people need to stand on business. Okay? People need to stand on business. Okay? <laughs> that is the slogan all 2024. Stand on business. If you're sleeping with married men, stand on it. <laughs> if you if you crashing out, you know, cursing out fans, doing all that extra shit and then you want to back it. No. Stand on it. We standing on business all 2024. Okay, it's like I don't like this. Like I feel like people need to start taking accountability for certain things. It's like, girl, like we're not fucking stupid. Like you clear, and they have screenshots of her liking the the, the, the now I guess the ex wife's pictures or things like that uh, of her new boyfriend. So they were clearly cool, and I'm not saying I got all the facts, but like. Girl, like, stop, stop acting as if you didn't know that this man was married. Like, girl, like, it is, and plus, it's like, no one is going to care either, too. Like, I mean, people talk on social media, but it's like, girl, people, are, you, you got a massive fan base. People are still going to support you. Like, it's okay, girl. Like, you don't have to release a statement talking about some, oh, people who don't know me as a person are judging me throughout 2023. And this is like, girl, you, you clearly, I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> like stop with the victim mentality okay like just you were fucking around with a guy who I, and listen there's also a thing where it's like okay like you know um let's say if the if the boyfriend ethan i think that's his name was separated with the wife but wasn't officially divorced and then you got with him okay that's one thing but even with that i'm like girl just just overall, I'm just like, wait till the man is divorced and then get with him instead of like getting with him. Because with... things can happen. People get back together when they're separated, even though they're still married. So it's just like, wait till they fucking like get divorced officially. So I don't know. I just, that, that statement, I wasn't feeling it. I, I felt like she was playing the victim. She wasn't taking accountability. That was that. But I am still looking forward to, you know, seeing what she's going to put out there. I'm going to, I'm going to look forward to what Miss Ariana Grande is going to give us. She's one of the few pop stars that I feel like is, you know, really eating the pop girls vocally. That's just a fact. I mean, nobody, nobody's, nobody's hitting Ariana Grande's vocals on any, anything vocally right now, I will say. There's only a few people, I, I, even a few, like even the ones that like, who I think are good, I don't think that they're like, the vocal agility wise, Ariana Grande is eating most, if not all of these pop girls. So, Yeah. That's just that. Uh, I can't wait to see what Ariana Grande will be releasing in 2024. I'm excited to see it. I will say this, though. I hope she's not collaborating with The Weeknd again. I don't know. I'm kind of over this whole, like, Weeknd, Ariana Grande co- collabs. Like, I'm, I'm kind of over it. Like, I think that we just need to, you know, give us something else. If you're going to f- do a feature or do a collab with somebody, please let it be with somebody else. I get it. They're on, Ariana Grande and The Weeknd duo is, like, a, a thing. But and they do well, good in numbers. But it's just, I'm kind of overhearing those two together on a track. Give me something else. Give me something different. But yeah, that's just my thoughts on that. All right, Nikki. Uh, I, there's nothing really to like, you know, go into when it comes to this. But you know, Nikki's album is really doing well. So shout out to her. Um, even though Pink Friday Two is not my fave from her, but you know, I need to give props to props to do. You know, Nikki's album is doing well on the charts. Um, the numbers are numbering. So we, we need to give Nikki her props for that. She's doing her thing. I think Nikki's having, 
you know, Nikki had a great 2023. You know, she had a great 2023. You know, she's going to have a great 2024, hopefully. Um, she's touring. So we'll see what happens. So shout out to Nikki. And shout out to the album doing well. Um, and we'll see what happens from there, you know. We'll see what Nikki is going to give um, on this tour. Y'all know Nikki's not... You know, tour wise, she's not the best day. You know, she don't she don't really move around like that. But you know, <laughs> I've seen enough Nicki Minaj videos over the years to see how she is in concert. But I mean, you know, shout out to Nicki though. Shout out to Nicki. She did the damn thing, and she's really the blueprint for a lot of these female rappers nowadays. Because it's like this is what you talk about, like having a strong fan base going to bat for you, making sure those numbers are numbering and are mathing. Okay, so shout out to Nicki for that. Next one, Megan Stallion. So Megan Stallion, I believe, is also dropping this year, which I think is great because I'm also Megan Stallion. I like Megan Stallion's music. Um, I do. Okay, so she is an independent artist right now, but I think she signed a distribution deal, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know how that goes. If there's still like a disadvantage, even though like you know you're independent, but yet you have you have a distribution deal. Um, we'll see what happens with that. Um, like I said, you know, Megan Thee Stallion, you know, I, I, let me, let me just state this. I feel like, with Me- and, and don't get me wrong, like, I like Megan Thee Stallion's music and everything like that. But it's like, even though, of course, the fan, you know, Megan Thee Stallion's fan base is not the same as like a, a Nicki or a, a Cardi B. She still does have a solid fan base, right? And they really go to bat for her on social media, especially on Twitter and everything like that. And to me, I just, I feel like, you know, those need to translate into sales. Okay. Those need to translate into sales, into numbers. It's like the same way, the, what, how do they call them? The hotties and things like that. That's going to be the slogan standing on business on 2024. The hotties, y'all need to put your pussy into, you know, streaming Miss Mama's streaming, making the stylings as music. Like, I get it, you know, go to bat for your girl, defend her on Twitter and things like that. But those need to translate into song sales, album sales. Like, the numbers need to number. Like, the fact that Cobra didn't do the number that it was supposed to do is kind of telling. So it's like, I don't know, sometimes the hotties, they give me, like, you know, social media warriors. But it's like, when it comes to actually trying to stream Megan Thee Stallion's music, it's like... You know, it's like a one and done thing. And it's like, yeah, I need to put a little bit more effort and a little bit more work into that. Okay? Like, I get it. Defend y'all girl. But it's, I don't know. It's like, to me, I feel like people are more into Megan Thee Stallion, the person. Megan Thee Stallion, the Instagram girl. Megan Thee Stallion, you know, the TikTok and stuff like that. Than they are when it comes to Megan Thee Stallion, the music. Because Megan Thee Stallion is a great artist. Like, she can rap her ass off. And it's just like, I feel like a lot of times... The social media engagement, things like that, when people talk about her, it doesn't translate into sales. So it's just like, I don't know. Hopefully 2024, you know, things are better, especially with this this distribution deal. People invest, her fans invest into her music and actually putting work into her music and streaming and buying instead of, you know, always, you know, on social media, ready to do. yes, defend. Don't get me wrong. Yes, defend your fave. You need to defend your fave, but also stream the music. Okay, people defend Nikki and they stream her music. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, um, I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. Um, I am gonna. I'm not. I might, i do not want to leave her off the hook completely because it's like they're gonna be like, oh, just because she's independent, that's why you're gonna leave her. Off. But you know, she's independent. You know, it's hard for independent artists to you know get a leg up there but i I still want to i still the hottie still need to do their work they need to do their work because like got all this talk but i need to see the i need to see the action it needs to be there so but yeah we'll see what happens the fact that megan the stallion is because if she releases an album this year right it's gonna be her third album i believe because the first one was good news i think good news trauma zine and now this third album. Now, like, can you believe Megan Thee Stallion has been... Well, Cardi B has been out longer than Megan Thee Stallion. And now Megan Thee Stallion 
it's not towards her third album and Cardi B hasn't even gotten to her second album. Can some can somebody make that make sense? Like how how are you out longer but yet the the one that came after you is putting out more work? I don't know. That's just me. That's just what I think. So, but yeah, shout out to Megan Stallion. We'll see what happens. Um, this is this one is might might be a pipe dream. Like we can only hope that um Miss Miss Robin Rihanna Fenty will release an album. Help! I think I might lower the bar for her. Give me a freaking single or something, mamas. And the reason why, I mean, then again, it's a pipe dream because, you know, she's a mother now and she, you know, she got two kids. Um, It's a pipe dream, like I said. When it comes to Rihanna, with her releasing music, I do think, and now this might be in a popular opinion. Y'all might get mad at me for saying this, okay? Um, I think that, obviously, there is a sect sector you know then yeah, especially with Rihanna's fans um that they're very you know they want the Rihanna music they want to see what she's going to give and things like that I do think that the industry is trying to replace Rihanna this is an unpopular opinion a popular opinion alert I think that they're you, listen and I get it. I, listen, I'm not trying to, I, okay. I'm not trying to pit women against each other or anything like that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's just how the industry works. It's not my industry. I'm not the one that made it to be this way. It is how it is. But I do think that they're trying to replace Rihanna with, with Tyler. I don't know. There's just something about Tyler that gives me rihanna coded vibes okay tyler had a really good year last year okay and the way she moves even i was just seeing her performance on uh, the new year's the new year's eve concert thing she, the way she's coming out i don't know she's giving me like and people are already comparing her to rihanna people are already trying to put her out there i think that the higher ups the industry, you know, they're looking at Rihanna. They're like, listen, and this is not me. I just think that this is what the end you know, y'all know how the industry is, especially towards women. Y'all know how it is. Come on. I'm not saying I'm not saying or doing anything that other people haven't done already. All I'm saying is, is that they see Rihanna and they're probably gonna think that Rihanna can no longer be relatable to a particular audience, especially the younger audience. You know, now she's a mother. Now she's a, a businesswoman. You know, she got multiple businesses. She's a billionaire. Feel me? She got two kids. She's a little bit older now. So I think that there is that sector where, especially the industry feels like Rihanna may not be as relatable as she used to be. Okay, especially to the younger audience. So this is where you guys got Tyler. Who gives Rihanna coded, okay? And don't get me wrong, Tyler is very much so influenced by Rihanna. She said it multiple times in different interviews. So now they got this girl. The girl can sing. The girl can dance. You know, she's she's you know for, from South Africa. I I think that this girl is gonna get a push to where like people are not even focused on a a Riri anymore. Or trying to get new Rihanna music. They're like, listen, we got we already got this Rihanna coded girl here. She's giving you as it is. She can dance, she can sing, she can give it all. We really don't need a, a new Rihanna album. That's just how I feel. I th I think that's what's gonna happen, honestly, truly. I could be wrong. Um, it, it is an unpopular opinion, but I I don't know. I I can I I can feel. I think. They're going to try to push this girl into being a Rihanna 2.0. There's something about her. Like, there's something about her that's very, very Rihanna-esque. Especially the way she just, you know, she came out. Because, you listen, Rihanna's from Barbados. 
you know, she came to the country when she was 16, well, 15, 16 years old, you know, doing the little performances and then the way she just blew up. And then on top of that, Tyler's also getting a lot of cosigns from Travis Scott, from Drake. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know. We'll see. Listen, at the end of the day, I'm, of course, I'm always going to be here for Rihanna music. I'm, you know, I, I'm a Rihanna fan. I grew up on her, love her music. So if she drops, I'm going to be here for it. But I don't know. I think they, they might try to, they're going to try to put her as, you know, I think Tyler's might be the next big thing. I think so. But yeah, um, but y'all tell me what y'all guys think in the comment section below. Um, do you guys agree with my opinion, my unpopular opinion? Um, I'm interested to see the comments that I get for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get up to 800 subscribers. Tell me what you guys think on each topic, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.